hold me, TC. Just hold me. Oh, I had the worst nightmare. Well, baby, tell me what it was. Oh, I can't. It's about blackmail, isn't it? It's about Ivy. Ivy and blackmail, how did you... Sweetheart, you cannot hide anything from me, so don't even try and deny it. How did you find out about Ivy and the blackmail? Well, the more I thought about it, the more the pieces fit. You were worried about a patient being blackmailed. This patient has a husband, kids, and the fear of public scandal. And I remember how you would talk to Ivy. And I got this weird feeling that you were talking about more than the pediatric wing. You were so edgy, and you were so nervous. And I know that you only get that way when someone else is hurting. So I put two and two together, and I figured it out. Ivy's the one that's being blackmailed, right? Honey, relax. Now that I know what's going on, I can help you cope with it. TC, you have it all wrong. Ivy is not the one who's being blackmailed. Then what has you so upset? Please, just drop it. No, I'm not going to drop it. You can't sleep. You're on edge. You're all distracted. Something's not right, and I want to know what it is. Well, I wish I could tell you, but I... Oh, it's the doctor-patient confidentiality, right? Honey, you are a good, honorable person. But there's other bonds besides the one you have with your patients. Baby. There's a bond that you have with me. Your husband. The sweetheart, unburden yourself. I swear, whatever you tell me, I will keep it between us. I can't risk it, TC. But for your sake, as much as mine. There you go again. Always trying to protect me. But baby, I think I deserve to know the truth. If Ivy's not being blackmailed, then who is it? I think Ivy is being blackmailed. And I think you're saying that to protect her. Sweetheart, listen, in your nightmare, you kept saying blackmail. And I know I heard you say Ivy. Ivy is the perfect target for any unscrupulous person to bleed her dry. I just hope that Sam is right, that Ivy gets the message not to hit on him again. I, I don't know, honey. I, I... Sweetheart, of course you don't know, because you're too good and you're too generous. You care about this woman. But Ivy is nothing but a high-class whore, and I will not let her drag you into her problems anymore. What are you doing? I'm calling Ivy, and I'm going to tell her to leave you out of her sordid life. Honey, why'd you do that? I'm sorry, TC. I don't want you to call Ivy Crane, especially at this hour. What if Julian answers? How will you explain yourself? I guess you're right. But I've had it with them. One of these days, I'm going to have it out with them. Julie and the whole damn lot of them. Oh, now stop it, TC. You're going to get yourself so worked up, you won't be able to go back to sleep. Eve, that just proves what kind of woman you are. Excuse me? You're the one who should be getting rest. And you're worried about me not getting enough sleep. You know what? I think we should let Ivy deal with her own damn problems. If she's done something bad enough to be blackmailed, then she should be blackmailed. You're not condoning blackmail, are you? Honey? No, I'm not. But Ivy, Julian, and the Cranes, all of them should be held accountable for what they might do. If it happens in a way that is unscrupulous, it's because they're unscrupulous. And if Ivy has to bleed Julian dry just to pay off hush money, it's fine by me. I mean, what kind of woman would be with a sleaze like Julian in the first place? He is the scum of this earth. And any woman who will fall into bed with him, is scum too. Honey, let's just get some and sleep. And Ivy's nothing but a damn trap for going after Sam. She deserves whatever she gets. And anybody who helps her, they deserve the same thing too. Of course, I don't know anybody who would help her. A true friend would never do anything like that to Sam and Grace. And if they did, I would hate them with a passion. Wouldn't you, honey? Words can't describe how I'd feel. I'm 
going to make myself a cup of warm milk. Would you like me to get you one? No, baby. I will make you a cup of warm milk. And I want you to relax. And I want you to throw all these things out of your mind that Ivy has thrown upon you. Because her problems, hey, her problems don't concern us. <laughs>